All right, here comes an MCI bus coming in. It's got a whole list of complaints of things for us to fix on this. The biggest of which is terrible steering. It's very, very bad handling. This is probably going to be kind of dusty. We haven't had a lot of rain here the last couple weeks, so the gravel driveway is extra dusty. parked outside here for the night so the bus can cool down. Um, we got the air conditioning running off the solar in the shop and we just got the bathroom glass finally installed for the showers and the apartment. Brakes dragging on there real bad. It acts like it too. Check this out. Oh, did you see that? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, bring it up a little higher. I don't know. That about good? You didn't do anything. The wheel. No, no. I said, is that about good? Oh, is, it, is it off the... Yeah. <coughs> no. It's still out of tension. Huh? Go, up, go up more. Can you see air under it? Yeah. Why is it not spinning? <laughs> Try going up a little more with it. Oh, 
and you see daylight under the whole fire. Yeah. And it won't spin. Nope. <laughs> Is it off the ground, though? Yeah, it is off the ground. <laughs> well, I guess I'll crawl under there and see what that is. <laughs> I don't know. The wheel's not turning. That's... That's more wheel bearing ish, but it might be a combination of a lot of things. That's as high as the jet goes, so. Can't do it. Oh yeah, that's all kingpin. <laughs> so really bad. maybe the brakes are just dragging because I heard it when it came in. So maybe the brake is, is it, are they, are they automatic slack adjusters? Yes. They look like they are. Try to uh, wiggle the wheel left and right, I want to see the steering. This is going to be really bad. Um, it's not bad where you think it's bad, but holy shit, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, let me give you the phone. What are we going right. Nope. I gotta figure out how to get another arm in here for light. Go ahead and wiggle it. Okay, go ahead and rock the kingpin some. So the brake chamber on the other side was actually stuck on the wheel. I couldn't even spin it by hand. Um, the slack adjuster, I had to back it all the way off. The push rod was all the way out of the can. It wouldn't retract in the can. And then the one on this side, it's all, you can see the spring inside of it. It's all rusted through. <laughs> that is not a good brake chamber. <laughs> I was pounding away on this trying to get it off. Springs and there. But that's the spring that holds it now. Is it not pivoting on that rusted bolt too on the is that what's happening? This is actually seized on there. Mm -hmm. It won't even, it won't even budge. It's it's and that's why it was held up on there. Mm -hmm. Or get it out. One, one of the three things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's why you go for the big one right away. It came out. <laughs> that's long. I never seen one that long in there before. That's what she said. So we got about half thread engagement there. Yeah. You can see at least a couple holes for cotter pins drilled right by each other. And this stuff is not like, I mean, it's round, but it's not very round. The end of it's all jacked up. Like it's been cut off and turned down with a grinder. Feel loose in there at all? I haven't. I mean, it's not moving right away, but I think we're gonna have to tap it out. Found 
gonna keep getting this hot and then soak it with pro. Go ahead. One side tag axle is bad and the side's good. All right, well, that's where we are at the end of day one on this bus. Um, we have a lot of things to work on. We're gonna be replacing all the airbags here. We've already got all the parts for that. Uh, shocks, radius rod bushings, brake chambers, king pins, tie rod ends, um, that uh, main steering link all that stuff. So there, there's a lot of work here. Day one, we got all the wheels off of it though. Everything kind of inspected. Uh, other than the front brake chambers, we got some work to do on the DD3s in the back. There's some rusted out brake chambers back there too that need to be replaced on the tag axles. Just lots of, this one's gonna be pretty involved and this front end is probably the worst that I've seen. I, I can't imagine how bad it, badly it handled for them. And having that, that slack adjuster get stuck like that, it, uh, that pin was seized in both the clevis and in the slack adjuster. Uh, it was welded like together, it wouldn't move. And that never allowed the brake to retract. So it just stayed in a locked position, putting friction on there. I don't know how he didn't have a brake fire or something on the way here. Uh, pretty pretty amazing for that. The rim's not all heat checked or anything. So that's, that's good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get all that replaced in there and kind of go from there. But this was just day one. This bus is gonna probably be here for about two weeks. We do have another bus coming in next week, so we'll have two buses in the shop. Uh, the Volkswagen thing is gonna be getting out of here. Uh, our buddy Oz is gonna come get that this weekend and tow it down to uh, Alabama, Huntsville area where he lives, and he's gonna get that painted for us. So that'll, that'll be a fun uh, project to follow too. So anyways, we'll post more videos of this one. We got, still got some more tearing into, especially in the, in the back end there. Um, and some engine work to do and other stuff too. So there's, there's quite a bit. This is gonna be very, very involved, uh, but we got a lot done on day one, diagnosing stuff, parts ordered. Our buddy Luke at US Coach is hooking us up. Uh, our buddy Brandon at Cardinal Coach uh, in North Carolina uh, is sending us some stuff too. So we got, we got all of our feelers out for parts because you know some of these things are hard, hard to locate nowadays. Um, but uh, especially the, the steering link over here, and we're still having trouble getting that apart, but Brandon's gonna try and pull the whole knuckle off since we gotta change the kingpin anyways. He's just gonna ship us a whole knuckle and then we can swap it out and not have to worry about trying to get that apart anymore. But uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty involved. Oh, radius rod bushings are all getting replaced. That's a whole nother, they're all in that box down there. At least that's the easy kind. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot of oh, leveling valves. Yeah, airbag hardware, lots of, lots of stuff happening on this one.